Oh. It's all here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. We got a model of the town? Why? Why would they have this? I mean, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know, there's something cool about seeing scale models of stuff. I don't know why. It just always seems interesting to me. Um. Alright, I'm guessing this is the dump. Maybe. That could be a school, I don't know. Over here. Oh. Oh no, I'm destroying the town. Oh, that's... Get out of there! I was really afraid I was going to get hit by that grenade. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? Alright. Well, there goes the town. <laughs> What's up here? Another tape you recorder. A poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s, named Thomas Sane. What? I don't know matter. It suits you very well, the poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um, it's this. I feel an emptiness, a yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No, no, Dylan's not dead. And that's not even it. You're referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polaris. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse. It felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown? That you believe Polaris caused? No! It wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident, and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No. It was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from... I don't know exactly, but they took Dylan. They... I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something, something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, 
you know he can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. Okay. So obviously nobody really believes Jesse because, you know, it does seem kind of far-fetched and everything, but, you know, that's kind of what the government does. They just cover up everything. Details are largely based on interviews conducted with Dylan Faden and the obtained therapy sessions of Jesse Faden, as well as circumstantial evidence found at the ordinary site. Note that accounts provided by all three sources contain conflicting data. Example, D Dylan claims there were eight slides for the projector. Projector. Jesse mentioned nine slides. The Bureau found one intact slide and the burnt remains of six others. Unfortunately, these slides are too badly damaged to be used in the projector. Jesse Faden is believed to be the individual responsible for burning the slides. Dr. Dar Darling has ordered that the entirety of the ordinary town dump be brought to the Bureau for examination and analysis with the, ho with the hopes of finding additional slides or other altered materials. Due to the limited space in the investigation sector, this AWE will be investigated in the containment sector. Okay. So... Just, uh... See what we got over here. Moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York. And nobody saw a thing. Hmm. Pretty unbelievable. I agree. <laughs> Just... One day a dump is there and the next thing it's gone. Not suspicious at all. By order of Dr. Darling, all work in the ordinary dump is a stop effective immediately. Resources will be allocated to the other department. The details will be forthcoming. This area will be sealed at the end of the month. Please remove all personal effects before that time. A any photographic slides, the type used in slide projectors found in the area, should be delivered to Dr. Darling immediately. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. I didn't think that guy actually got stunned by, uh, having things thrown at him. That guy just went down so fast. Ouch. How am I gonna deal with this guy? if I have to wait for him to attack me and then I can throw stuff at him? Yes.
Oh shit, what the f I don't know how he didn't hurt me. Okay, that time he did. We should check that lab. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not playing on a harder difficulty. Is there a hard wait, is there even difficulty settings in this game? I don't remember. You know, there might not be. Rebirth, greatest hits. The uh, Old Gods of Asgard, I guess. I was nine or something when I found my dad's old gods album. I became a huge fan instantly. Okay. Whoops, wrong button. I don't think there are difficulty settings in this game. I'm not sure. I, cause, uh, no. I don't think I ever chose one. I... I don't know. I can't remember. I guess that's one of the problems with like playing different games is you kind of forget. You know, how you, uh, how you're playing things. Cause like, I know Doom has difficulty settings. I started playing Devil May Cry 5 a little bit. That has difficulties. This one, I don't think I chose one. So it's probably just, you know, every experience is just the same. And things get easier because you level up your character or, you know, equip mods and stuff for your character. That'll help make fights a whole lot easier. Ooh. Wow, there's... There's a level higher than Prime and it's called Absolute. That's kind of cool. I'll take it. <laughs> um... All right. What's this? A bicycle? No idea what that is. Oh, we got a terminal. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling Those subtitles were out of sync. The research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. Okay. Finish Tango. Alright then. Oh. Something back here. And there's something over here, too. Alright, we'll push that button later. Right now I'm gonna... run around this area and see if I can find anything. Uh, I don't really see anything else, though. Look at that! Globe supplement. The item found in the penthouse suite at Toronto belonging to David Wolf, who was being investigated for illegally dealing in altered materials. Bureau agents raided his penthouse and found numerous paranatural belongings, including something and this item. Mr. Wolf was arrested. So why would a 36-year-old Bay Street investment trader, filthy rich, married to a model, disappear overnight? 
That's the question that's kept Toronto High Society up at night this past week. Police say it's being looked into. Some nutjob radio show in the States claims he's disappeared to join the Illuminati. But is this reporter's opinion that Mr. Wolf, bored of his job, sick of his family, left it all behind to retire in some remote beach paradise? Now he's sipping Mai Tais while the world thinks he's dead. Okay. It looks like Wolf is a uh, investment trader. Or Bay Street, which I imagine is probably Wall Street, but I don't know. Maybe he's the Wolf of Bay Street. Alright, don't need that. And... Let's see what else is around here. Oh. Interesting. Oof, that was close. I kind of forgot to levitate. And... Oh, a box. Okay. I think we can move on now. Push the button. Control point here. I'm saved. Okay. Now... Now, <laughs> I don't know what I want. I mean, I'm not really interested in levitation stuff because I don't really use it that much. And I don't use C's that much e either. I mean, there's still some shield stuff that can help. I'm like, I'm tempted to just try to max out these things here. Like health and energy, but... I don't know if I should try to do that. I mean, having more energy is always good because then I can, you know, throw more things, dodge more, maybe use my shield more. I don't know if I want it though. Yeah, why not? I'll just do that. And I still don't have enough for that. Great. I don't know if there's a way to like construct materials. Well, I guess all the enemies despawned. Except for that guy. So, where am I going? I have to go to research. Okay. So... There we go. What's the best way to get here? See, it's it's kind of hard to tell how these maps are set up because I don't know if they're like, like how to tell the different levels from each other. I mean, this place might work. I don't know, we can try it. Okay. So, we would need to go Can we go up here? Oh. Right. 
Oh, there's more. Did not mean to shoot that fire extinguisher, but whatever. It worked. Ow! What the hell? Holy shit! Uh... See, it shouldn't take like that many shots to kill that guy when I'm right up in his face with a shotgun. I don't understand, like, does it have something to do with the amount of projectiles I have? Because I, I know I'm, I have the mod that uh, makes it shoot more projectiles and I'm wondering if that somehow affects the damage. But then I also have a damage boost. So I just, I'm not sure. Broken. Now we're here again. Contact the janitor if you need to get through. Broken? How many dead ends can this place have? We need to find Ati. Okay. Well, I guess that's all we had to do there was go there and find out that it doesn't work. There's this thing that says ventilation. Probably the thing that says ventilation on the menu. So it looks like the the lighter areas on the map are on the upper level and then darker is further down. But, you know, that's what it looks like to me. That's not the right way. We want to go over here. Oh, that's our friends. Ha! Ah, okay. I, I the freaking all the names that popped up on the side of my screen just freaked me out for a second. Also taking that much damage at once. It's kind of scary too. Uh, I think it's over here in the back 